Did you know that chimps' nests are cleaner than our beds? According to a 2018 study, their nests are less likely to harbor bacteria because they build a new one every day. I'm your host, Romy Casanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode, we'll be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. And we are getting some footage from Mongo Bay. And these are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongave to get notifications about our latest videos. Today's episode is all about our closest living relatives, chimpanzees. We share between 95 and 98% of DNA with them. Wild chimps only live in Central and West Africa. One can find them in dry savannas, montane forests and rainforests in altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. Chimps are part of the great ape family, which includes bonobos, gorillas, and orangutans. Like us, they are highly social animals. Most of their time is spent on smaller groups known as parties of about 35 chimps. However, the largest known community had 150 members. To bond and reinforce social structures, chimps groom each other. Grooming also removes parasites and helps reduce stress. Chimps are able to convey a wide variety of messages to one another. They have been observed using 58 different gestures. For example, when a chimp sees a threat, it warns the group. The chimp stares at a threat and then back at their group until other chimps see the threat. If they believe another chimp is unaware, their gestures and vocalizations become more urgent. Normally, chimps get around by swinging through the branches with their long arms. However, on ground, they travel on all fours and sometimes, for shorter distance, even walk on their legs like humans. Until 1960, chimps were thought to only eat plants. It was not until Dr. Jane Goodall observed them hunting and eating pigs, monkeys and other small mammals that it was discovered they were omnivorous. In that same year, Dr. Goodall discovered an ability that until that year, it was considered uniquely human, the use of tools. She watched a chimp bend a twig, strip off its leaves, and use it to fish termites from their nest. Another behavior once considered exclusively human is showing compassion. Dr. Goodall witnessed chimps hugging one another when they were mourning the death of another chimp in their party. In the wild, they usually live for about 50 years. And even though they are completely protected in all countries of their range, chimps are under tremendous pressure and are listed as an endangered species by the IUCN. They are threatened by habitat loss, fragmentation and illegal poaching. Humans not only hunt them for their meat using illegal snares, but they also capture baby chimps to sell them in the cities as pets. Due to this, the population is drastically decreasing. Chimps are fascinating animals, and even though we've been studying them for decades, we're constantly learning new things about them. In the next episode, we'll be meeting a mammal whose species name in Latin means strange or foreign. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time.